What goes on, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and we are at a very, very special restaurant that I just so happened to pick out. <laughs> yeah, anywho, the reason why we're at this restaurant is because today is Styx the Badger's birthday, and speaking of which, she should be coming by here along with two very special guests who haven't been on the channel for a long while. Oh, in fact, I think, yep, there they are. Yep, there they are. Yo, what's up, everybody? Hello, everyone. Hey, it's the, oh, hey, it's the third most ultimate couple. It's Boom Sonic and Boom Amy. Hey, guys, how you guys doing? Yeah, you can't complain. <laughs> We're doing just fine. Yes, absolutely. Oh, and uh, Boom Amy, congratulations on the baby. Thank you. <laughs> and I can just imagine what you guys named her. Yep, her name is Aurora. <laughs> I had a feeling that her name was going to be Aurora. But anyway, yeah, congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, it feels so good to finally have Aurora. And not to mention, uh, finally I can wear my other clothes again. I know. <laughs> Being pregnant, it takes a lot. It takes a while. Like I shouldn't know because uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a dude. Dudes can't get pregnant. But anywho, you know what? Okay, I'm just making the situation awkward. Oh no, it's okay, Flame. It's fine. I mean, you're a father. You should know this stuff. Yeah, I am a father. I should know this. But anyway, Sonic, where's Sticks? She should be here by now. Oh, and did you get her in the dress I sent you? Yeah, I did. It was really tough, but we finally got her in that dress. Ugh, finally. Styx, get in here. Look, come on, Styx. You wore a dress in the episode My Fair Styx, so why can't you wear a dress right now? It's because I'm not used to wearing them, okay? Anyway, hey, Flame. And thanks for throwing me this birthday party. Hey, Styx, I'm not gonna lie, you look beautiful in this. Yeah, well, I would rather prefer my other clothes than, you know, this. Well, hello, this is a fancy restaurant. I mean, come on, just like Boom Sonic said, you wore a dress in my fair Styx, so why can't you wear one now? Like I said, I'm not used to wearing them. Neither was I, Might, but I got used to them. Um, who said that? Oh, that would be my other very special guest who I have here with me. Everybody, take a look who's here. It's Maureen. <laughs> I brought Maureen the raccoon here, since you two kind of look the same a little bit. Yep, it's good to see you again, Steeks. Yeah, and I guess it's good to see you too, Maureen. So, you're this Maureen the raccoon everybody's been talking about. Yes, yes I am. Yeah, and everybody seems to think that you two are... Sort of the, cl sort of the, uh, modern and boom. Guys, let me just make things clear. They may look the same, but they're not the same person. Marine is a raccoon. Styx is a badger. Okay, guys, get that through your heads. That's almost like saying, that's almost like saying, like, me and Shadow, we're somewhat the same. Just because our quill patterns look the same. And just because we're two different colors and stuff. And same thing with Becky and Sonica. I mean, sure, they're both blue. They're, sure, they're both blue hedgehogs with green eyes and stuff. But no, they're not the same person. Okay, they're not the same person. Anywho, anywho, Marine, how's things with Charmy going? Things are going just great, mites. <laughs> and you know, I am really, really happy to be with Charmy. Ah, <laughs> well, I'm glad that Charmy is able to make you smile. Yes, indeed. Huh. It's too bad I don't have anybody to be with. I mean, Tails, he has Zoe. Amy and Sonic have each other. Knuckles, he has Boom Rouge. And as for me, I don't have anybody. Aw, well, poor Styx. Well, don't worry, Styx. It's only a matter of time before you get somebody. I doubt it. Oh, uh, well, it's okay. I mean, some people are used to the cre some people are used to the single life, but anywho, there's gotta be somebody out there who uh, likes you. 
I mean, there's got to be someone out there who likes you. I mean, who doesn't like, I mean, who doesn't like girls that's always blabbing on about the government aliens and stuff? Nobody. But hey, that is true. The alien government is after us. Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> see, you still haven't lost that little touch. Yeah, and uh, sorry about when we first met. I uh, called you an alien. It's fine. But anywho, how about we just sit down and relax and have a nice dinner? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, me too. Oh, so, um, Boom Amy, have you actually seen the uh, video that I made yesterday with your modern self? Oh yeah, that Ask the Sonic crew? Yeah, I saw it. So, what did you think about the uh, question that she answered? Oh, about classic me and uh, a me? Yeah. Well, basically, she is kind of right. I mean, me and modern, me and modern me, we actually do get along pretty well. It's just that, uh, I heard that somebody asked a question, like, does me and her get along? Yes, of course, we do get along very well. It's just that, um, <laughs> I'm a whole lot more mature than her. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, I mean, think about it. She's in the modern era where she still acts crazy around Sonic, and in the mo and here in the Boom era, um, I just kind of take it easy. Yeah, and not to mention both of us kind of hide our feelings for each other. <laughs> and then our f then one of our favorite fans named Eve created a whole bunch of comics about us. Yeah, I love Eve's work. She does a really really great job. As my favorite comic that I definitely love is when you guys decided to have a baby. I mean, just seeing you guys, just seeing you guys th go throughout this whole process of you guys having this baby, then next thing you know, boink, out comes Aurora. <laughs> yeah, that comic was pretty good. The second comic I definitely liked was the uh, fancy party when Aurora's all dr when Aurora's all grown up and singing. Hmm, that was actually great. Yeah, what was your favorite part about that? My favorite part? <laughs> My favorite part was when um, I gave Sonic that look. Then we zoomed back home. The next thing you know, he came back with his tie undone and lipstick marks all over him. Uh, okay, look. It's just that you're beautiful, okay? I mean, can I help it that every, every look that you give me, uh, it's always a sign saying that you want me or something? Oh boy. Yeah, it's Sarah. She does the same thing to me too. Yeah, Sarah does the same thing to me too. Um, as for me, I sometimes do the same thing to Charmy. I sometimes do the same thing to Charmy. But instead of, you know, doing the thing because we're too young, that basic that look basically means I want some attention. Please give it to me. <laughs> uh, Marine. By the way, Marine, uh, how are you taking that silver being evil? Silvermite? Um, it's kind of rough. Blaze, she's been talking to me, saying that she's really struggling trying to get over him and stuff. She's really struggling because she still can't believe that her own husband is basically turned evil. Well, don't worry. Well, don't worry. We are putting a stop to Silver's uh, evil plans. We just need to figure out what to do. <sighs> we just need to figure out what to do. I don't know if we had, but we'll still come up with a plan. Anyway, anyway, sticks. Um, so are you? So do you have any plans in the Boom Universe for your birthday? Oh well, um, no, not exactly. I don't have any plans. I was just gonna sit inside my burrow and uh, sharpen my spears. Whoa, great way to spend your birthday. Well, I don't have any other. F well. I don't have any friend. Well, I don't have any family that I can go to. I mean, I do have friends, but I don't have any uh, family to go to. Well, you can always come by my house, and we can always celebrate for your birthday. You really, you really mean it? Sure. I mean, basically, sticks. You're almost like a sister to me in a way. You're almost like a sister to me. Uh, if just as long as you know, <laughs> you don't. Uh. <laughs> Try and probe my head. Try and probe my head. Oh, please. You know I won't do that. Okay, well, anywho. Okay, well, anywho. Uh. 
Okay, so I just pre-ordered the wine through this tablet right here. And do, what does everybody like to eat here? We'll have the couple spaghetti. Oh, I see. You're trying to do this lady in the tramp style, huh, Amy? You know it, Big Blue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me guess. You've been taking tips from Boom Rouge, have you? Yes, I have. <laughs> oh boy. You know, now that I learned that there is a Boom Rouge in our universe, we've been spending more and more time together. You know, I won't be surprised if at some point we'll find a Boom Blaze there. Blaze? Oh, you mean that purple fire cat in your universe? Yep, but she is going through some things. She is going through some things right now. Really? What's wrong? Well, you see, it's her husband, Silver. Oh, you mean that... Wait, you mean that, um... You mean that gray hedgehog that travels through time? Yep, that's him. Anyway, he's turned evil. And he liter and the reason why he's turned evil is because he's sick and tired of everybody making jokes and laughing at him because of that one thing that happened in Sonic 06. What happened? Shadow kicked him in the back of the head. And as soon as that happened, uh, that became like the biggest meme in all of the Sonic franchise. Ever since then, everybody's been laughing at Silver, everybody's been calling him names, calling him weak, and all sorts of things. Man, I really do feel bad for the guy. I mean, if I was to make fun of I mean, if I was made fun of like that, I would definitely turn evil myself. Yeah, but you know, but you're too loyal to be a hero, you know, you're too loyal of a hero to be a, uh, a villain, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, um, Styx, I've been meaning to get you this. What is, what is this, Sonic? Oh, just a little thing that I think you might like. Uh, is this? Yep, <laughs> it's boomerang polish. I literally had to go to two different dimensions to finally get it. Aw, oh, Sonic, thanks, you're a real pal. Yeah, anything for you, Styx. You are one of my closest friends. And plus, not to mention, <laughs> This is sort of a, uh, this is sort of a, uh, thank you gift for, for, you know, uh, offering to, uh, babysit Aurora anytime. But since it's your birthday, you got the day off, and, uh, I have Tails and Knuckles babysitting her. Yeah, by the way, how is, by the way, how is Tails and Knuckles, uh, taking that they're uncles now? Oh, they're taking it pretty well. <laughs> Of course, they're trying to compete for uh, Aurora's love to see who's her favorite uncle. Well, that is a good question. Who would be Aurora's favorite uncle? I mean, Tails the boy genius or Knuckles the big beefy guy? <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, Aurora, she is doing pretty well despite the fact that she was just being born. <laughs> I mean, she's adorable, cute, I mean... She's everything in her mo- I mean, she has everything in her mother. Aw, Sonic. <laughs> so, speaking of which, uh, Sonic, have you ever planned on her future? Um, honestly, I don't really know what the heck her future has in store for her. I mean, just as- I mean, just like how I reacted in the bakery, let's just hope nothing like that happens. You know, you know. Uh, a boy coming up to her and uh, wanting to do things to her. <laughs> so many dead bodies to dispose of. <laughs> um, Sonic, are you okay over there? Yeah, I'm fine. It's, I'm fine. It's just that, uh, <laughs> oh boy. It's just that raising a girl is a whole lot different than raising a boy. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I don't have any sons at all. But if I did, but if I did, I would be teaching, I've been, I'll be teaching him how to defend himself and picking up girls. <laughs> but if I, but if I did have a daughter, and you know I do, I have three of them, I would be dedicating my life to protect her, to do whatever, it, to do whatever I can to protect her. Yeah, I mean, now that I have a girl, it's going to be really difficult for me to, you know, function and stuff. Because I'm always thinking, like, who's going to be after my daughter? Well, don't worry, Sonic. I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna be after your daughter. Anyway, Styx, 
again, I understand that you are really lonely and stuff because all of your friends are either married and have like, or have girlfriends and stuff or boyfriends, but don't worry. I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there who can, uh, you know, take care of you. Yeah, I don't know. Most of the times I've just been spending time with Percy Bandicoot and Zoe the Fox. Oh wait, how is Percy anyway? I haven't seen her in a long while. Oh, she's been doing okay. She's been doing fine. Yeah, I mean, Percy, I haven't seen her in a really long time. I mean, it's been a while since I last seen her. Hmm, when was that? Um, I believe the last time I saw Percy was during that episode of Ask the Sonic Crew where you and Zoe showed up. Yeah, that was the time. Yeah, and from that time, I haven't seen her. Hmm, she's probably been busy. Well, I don't know. She is a side character, and not many side characters are busy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hmm. Okay, well, anywho... Anywho, uh, oh, yeah, back to the orders. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll have me a, uh, steak and a baked potato. <laughs> okay, um, so, uh, sticks, what would you like? Um, I guess a piece of fish, if they have one. Okay, one piece of fish. Any sides? Hmm, no sides. Okay, cool. Uh, what about you, Marine? Which would you like? Um, how about some coconut? Uh, okay, coconut it is. Coconut it is. Uh, well, uh, speaking of which, Marine, I understand that you're still living on that island. Uh, have you ever thought about moving out of the, uh, soul dimension? Hmm, I have, actually. I have been thinking about moving out of the soul dimension, but... Since that's the only place I know, and I don't really know my way around Mobius that much, I guess I have to stay there. Well, if you want, me or Charmy can uh, give you a tour of Mobius. Well, if you want me to. I mean, sure. It's just so that way, if you do move here, you'll know your way around here. You really think so? Yeah, of course, Maureen. And plus, not to mention, uh, plus not to mention, if you're here... Then maybe you can spend some more time with Blaze, keeping her company and stuff. I mean, you are practically almost like a daughter to her. Yeah, that's true. Her and Silver, they did do a good job raising me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They did raise, they did sort of kind of raise you to be the traveling adventurer you are today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I still question how the world. I'm still trying to question, like, how the world did Silver manage to, uh, function over there? Well, let's just say, being a hedgehog from the future, that's really hard. It's really hard. Yeah, I really do feel bad for him. <sighs> that's why I'm trying everything that I can to stop him, so that way he doesn't, you know, act, so that way he doesn't kill anybody. And you know I don't like anybody to die. Hmm. <sighs> So, yeah, everything's good. Anyway, Maureen, uh, so, have you heard from Charmy? Not, not since last night. Not since last night. I mean, I went over there to, uh, spend the night at his house. To spend the night over at his house. <laughs> Vector and Espio, oh my gosh, those two, wow. Oh yeah, how are Vector and Espio taking Charmy dating you? Oh, they're all right. It's just that Vector, he's still a little bit upset. Why the world is Vector upset? Because, because he was really used to Charmy dating Cream. All because he wanted to get close to Vanilla. Wow, talk about using your friends. Dang, Vector. What? It's not my fault. Wait, what the heck? Vector, are you in the background? No. Oh, yes you are. Vector, what the heck are you doing here? Look, can a, what, can a crocodile just sit here for, with a dinner for one? Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, boy. You really didn't need to get a girlfriend, dude. I'm trying. Oh, God. Okay, well, anywho, Marine, anywho, Marine, you just keep on dating Charmy. I mean, he is a cool guy. He's a nice guy. A little, uh, 
a little over a little uh overexcited and stuff, but still he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's my little bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, and you two, I tell you, I I can tell you two really do love each other very much. We do, and that's why when we get older, <clears throat> who knows what's gonna be what? Who knows what's it gonna be like when we get older? Yeah, that's true. Well, if you ask, well, if you ask me. Huh? What is it, Sticks? I was just saying, if you ask me, if you love someone very much, why don't you uh? Move in together, or let alone get married or something. Sticks, she's too young to get married right now. I mean, she's only like what? She's only like what? Um, seven years old? Yeah, I'm only seven years old. <laughs> and Charmy's what, six? Yeah, I think so. But anywho, um, so Sticks, again, if you want, anyway, Sticks, uh, like I said, if you want to come by my house and, uh, Spend some time with us for your birthday? It, you're more than welcome to. Ah, here are the drinks. Your drinks, sir. Thank you, my good man. I hope everybody likes, I hope everybody likes, uh, this special brand of wine that I ordered. Mmm, what type of wine is it? Oh, it's a special white wine that me and Sarah like to drink on our dates. By the way, how is your relationship with Sarah doing? Oh, it's doing just fine. Of course, she's been stressed out lately, all because of, you know, Blaze and Solar living with me. Same thing with Charlene. Well, if you ask me, if you want, I can move in with you, just so that way I can keep Blaze happy. And so that way I can calm everybody down. Oh yeah, but also, Marine, aren't you just, aren't you trying to get control of your water powers? I mean, hence your name is Marine. I mean... Everybody seems to think that you have water abilities, all because of your name is Marine. Well, after what happened in Sonic Rush Adventure, everybody has been thinking that I have water abilities, but I honestly don't know if I do or not. Maybe you do have water abilities, who knows? Like I said, <clears throat> I'm still trying to uh, train you to uh, master them. Aw, oh, well, thank you for that, Flame. <clears throat> no problem. Anywho, I hope you guys, hopefully you guys like the wine. And Marine, since you're seven years old, I ordered you, uh, some milk. Um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. Well, anyway, to Sticks the Badger, the most craziest character in all of the Sonic franchise. To my friend Sticks, the person who's gotten me in many different who's gotten me in trouble with the government multiple times. But it's still, but she's still a nice person. Two Sticks the Badger, my very best friend in all of the Boom franchise. <laughs> Two Sticks the Badger, a very close sister to me, almost. <laughs> Two Sticks the Badger, my twin, or big sister, whichever one you guys like to call us. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, everybody, take a sip. Ah, check the pulse. Check the pulse. Woo, that was some good wine. Woo. Oh, boy, that was some good wine. Yep, I'll say. <laughs> hey, Amy, maybe instead of the other wine that we usually get, we ought to uh, get this one instead. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Flame, what's the name of that wine? Oh, it's Chaos. Oh, it's Chaos Citrus number nine. Hmm, no wonder it kind of tastes like oranges. Yep, it's white wine mixed with orange juice. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Ah, and here's our food right now. A steak and potatoes for the dragon hog. A couple spaghetti for the two hedgehogs. One piece of fish for the badger. And a, and some sliced coconuts for the raccoon. Thank you, good man. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this place has some really, really good food. Wait until you taste it. It's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. By the way, um, so, Sonic, give me some updates on your version of Eggman. How is everything? Well, you know that. Well, you know Egghead. Always sicking his robots out on us. How's your version? Oh, he's actually good now. Wait, what? Yeah, my version of Eggman's actually good. Wow, that's crazy. 
I mean, I didn't expect anybody like Eggman to be good. I mean, I, I mean, think about it. Out of all the villains, who would have thought that Eggman would turn good? Yeah, Eggman, yeah, my version of Eggman, he is actually really nice now. In fact, he has actually helped us out multiple times. Wow, again, I would never thought that Eggman would be <laughs> a friend to you. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call him a friend. I would just call him a, um, a ally or a acquaintance. He hasn't earned the name friend yet. I mean, don't forget. I mean, don't forget. He still has a, he still has done a whole bunch of wrong in the past. So, yeah, like I said, if he wants to earn the name friend, then he'll have to work for it. Well, if you ask me, it's all just a trick. Well, he hasn't done anything for a very long time. He hasn't done anything in a long time, Styx. Well, that could be just a, um, that could be just a, uh, I don't know, a trick? Maybe, I don't know. But we do have surveillance cameras over at his, uh, place. Just in case it is a trick. Just in case it is a trick. Don't worry. Well, okay. Well, anyway, thanks for the birthday party, Flame. And, yes, I guess I will take you up on your offer and, uh, spend some time with you and your wife for my birthday. Yeah. After all, it is, I mean, come on, it is your birthday, and what are you planning on doing? Spending your time in your burrow just sharpening up your spears. Well, yeah, that's... I mean, that's how I do sometimes with all my other birthdays. Wow. Sonic, you don't ever take her out? Well, every time we always try to take her out, she always ends up, uh, she always ends up, you know, thinking that the waiter is really the uh, government agents in disguise or something. Always trying to take our money. Well, Sticks, well, Sticks, the reason why they're asking you for money is because they're asking you to pay for the food that you ate. I know that now. Okay, cool. Well, anywho, anywho, Sticks, quick question. Now that you're wearing a dress, would you ever consider wearing a dress again? Well, to be honest, I am sort of getting used to wearing dresses, but I'll stick with my uh, old clothes. Okay, but when you get comfortable wearing dresses, I can have uh, some wardrobe made for you. Um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> no problem. Well, anyway, so, um, Boom Amy, uh, are you planning on training Aurora to do some things? Well, she's not old enough yet, but I am thinking about training her to summon, and I'm thinking about training her how to summon a hammer, kind of like me. But you don't summon a hammer. But you don't summon a hammer. It's just there. I mean, I mean, classic you and modern you actually learned how to summon a hammer. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to teach her, I can teach her about some things. Hmm, I guess, maybe. <laughs> oh, and a uh, little fair tip, uh, Boom Sonic. Yeah? Keep Aurora away from Boom Shadow. Keep her away from Boom Shadow, because uh, who knows what's going to happen. All right? Yeah, you got it. Because uh, there's one ship I absolutely don't like. It's anything involving Shadow and me. Well, involving anybody from my family. Well, don't worry. As long as you keep Aurora away from Shadow, everything's all good. <sighs> well, guys, looks like this birthday party is off to a really good start. So, anyway, uh, Marine. Like I said before, if you want to, you could move in with me just to keep Blaze company and stuff. Well, but then again, Charmy, he'll be happy to come by here all the time. Maybe, I guess, I don't know. I guess, I don't know, but anywho, anyway, Styx, I am glad that you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I do want to thank you a lot, Flame. Oh, and uh, by the way... This won't be the last time you see me with makeup on. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been yeah, I've been meaning to ask you, who did your makeup? The purple eyeshadow, the blush, the lipstick? Who did that? Guilty. What the heck, Amy? You did that? Yep, I did. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Stick, she does look really beautiful and with makeup on, don't you think? Well, she looks different, but I'm not gonna lie, she 
does look pretty. <laughs> you do look pretty, Sticks. Well, um, again, I'm really not used to this type of stuff, but I guess I can try to adjust. I mean, not everybody are survivors like me. Okay, well, and I know, and plus, you're trying to get used to technology, aren't you? Well, yeah, kinda. I am really trying to get used to technology, but, um, here's the thing. I still don't trust it. I still don't trust technology. Well, hey, I have a great idea. How about you invite... How about you invite Cyborg Sticks with you? Why don't you invite Cyborg Sticks back to your house and, uh, ask her if maybe you can, uh, spend time with each other? So that way you guys can get used to each other. Hmm, maybe. After all, she is one robot I can trust. Cause, duh, she's a robot version of me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Boom Sonic. Hey, I got a quick question. What will happen if Cyborg Sonic met your version of Metal Sonic? Oh man, I honestly don't know what the heck would happen. I really don't know. <laughs> They're probably going to be fighting over who's the best version of uh, me. The best robot version of me. Yeah. Hey, guys, put down in the comment section which which robotic version of Sonic do you guys like more? Uh, Metal Sonic or Cyborg Sonic from the Boom Universe? Put down in the comments below which ver which robotic version of Sonic do you guys like more? Well, if you ask me, I like Cyborg me because hey, at least he's not trying to kill me. I mean, sure he sure that one time he was trying to kill me. But that was only because Eggman was, uh, taking control of him. Yeah. And by the way, I'm, by the way, I understand that your cyborg counterparts, they sometimes come down to visit you every now and then. Uh, Amy, when was the last time you saw cyborg Amy? Well, I haven't seen her in a long while. I just hope she's okay. Yeah. <sighs> well, I have been dealing with my fair share of Amy's. What do you mean? Oh, well, I guess I'll explain it uh, tomorrow in another video. Uh, yeah, flamethrowers, uh, I will be talking about some situations that happened earlier. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that will be for tomorrow. Right now, I'm not focusing on that. Right now, I'm focusing more on sticks, because after all, it is her birthday, so, yeah. Anywho, sticks. So, anywho, sticks, um... Can you give me an update on some of the uh, survival skills? Because I'm thinking about teaching my daughter Flair some survival skills. Because I do know a bit of survival skills myself. Well, if you ask me, well, if you want to learn how to survive in the wild, there's three things you gotta learn. One, be one with nature. Don't let, don't be an outcast to nature. Just pretend that you are one of it. Like, 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 for example, like, like, for example, don't think, don't strip away your old modern clothes and make clothes into, out of the following, leaves, bark, and all sorts of things. Or some old cloth that you can find all over the place. Is that what you did with your old clothes? I mean, with your clothes? Well, somewhat, yeah. <laughs> but I've gotten so used to it on my skin, it doesn't really seem to bother me. Okay, what's the third thing? The third thing is you got to kill your food before it can kill you. Basically, what you need to do is learn how to hunt. And the three basic weapons that you can use for hunting is a bow and arrow, a shield, and a spear. I mean, of course, spears, they're really good for picking off, like, giant beasts, like bears or something. And as for bow and arrows, they're good for, they're good for, um picking birds off from trees and stuff. They're really good. And as for shields, you know that they're really good at, you know they're really good for protecting yourself, right? Yep. And what's the third step? The third step is getting clean water. Now, now, you can't drink the water from any um, stream or river or something because that's just disgusting. Now, you can, well, now, there's two types of water that you can use. There's one, you can either wait till it rains, or two, when all else fails, or when all else fails, you have to drink your own piss.
Ew, that's just disgusting. It's called survival, Flame. Even if, even if it is disgusting, hey, at least you will live to see another day. Well, yeah, that is true. Um, can we please not talk about this type of stuff? You're gonna make me throw out my spaghetti. Oh, sorry, Amy. Yeah, me too. I mean, I got a really sensitive stomach. <laughs> oh yeah, Sonic, I just realized something. You moved on from eating chili dogs that much. I mean, I still do eat them. It's just that ever since me and Amy got married, I kind of been uh, leaning away from the chili dogs for her sake. I mean, I mean, sure, I do get them when we're at Matt Burger, but I don't eat them when I'm at home or something. Because uh, <laughs> she thinks that uh, me eating chili dogs around our daughter is a bad influence on her. How is that, Amy? Well, to be honest, I want our daughter to be like her father, but not that much like her. But not that much like him. I mean, you know, sitting back, eating chili dogs, being cocky and stuff. Well, alright. Alright, I was just asking, I was just asking. Okay, well, anyway, Sticks. Anyway, Sticks, since it's your birthday, I managed to go to Bunny's restaurant the other day, and I saved you this. No way. Is that my favorite type of cake? Yep, double chocolate. Your favorite type of cake. Aw, oh, Flame, thank you so much. Mm. Uh, okay, thank you for the kiss on the cheek. I mean, I know how much you love your chocolate cake, but did you really have to kiss me? I'm sorry, it's just I'm so happy. I know, but remember, I'm married. Of course, of course, I know, I know. <sighs> well, anyway, oh yeah, speaking of Sarah, right now she's in the middle of her training. Right now she is uh, in the middle of still training to become a goddess. Well, I hope she makes it. I'm sure she will. I mean, I got the gods and goddesses from the Supersonic X universe, um, universe to uh, help out. Yeah, I mean, I heard about those girls. They're really powerful and strong. I mean, yeah, they are goddesses. By the way, uh, tell Supersonic X Universe, Sonic, to stop giving me a bad rep. And tell him to stop giving modern me a bad rep as well. Why? What's he doing? I mean, come on. You seen season two when he was all grown up. When he was all grown up. He's starting to look like me. I mean bandages on his arms, that brown scarf, come on. He's literally just being a ripoff of me. Well, yeah, I guess so, but... Yeah, I guess so, but... What, but how is he giving Modern a bad rep? I mean, come on, think about it. He literally, I mean, come on, think about it. He literally, back in the day, he had, like, Modern's, um, look. He had Modern's look. And before you know it, he started, you know, doing every single girl that he can find in his world. Well, it's not his fault. It's called the Sonic Effect. It's where these girls, it's where girls just throw themselves at him. And he doesn't, and he has no choice but to offer them their happiness or else, or else they'll rebel and all sorts of things. I mean, I have that problem. It's called the Flame Effect. It's where girls are falling in love with me left and right. All because of what? All because of what? My good looks and charm and stuff. Well, good thing I don't have to worry about that. You and Classic don't have to worry about that. Like, why is it just me and Modern? Ugh. Okay, well, before I fly off the handle, I better sign off. Well, flamethrowers, be sure to wish Sticks happy birthday in the comment section below. We're going to continue eating our uh, dinner here. And, uh, Maureen, later on, uh, sometime this week, I would really, really appreciate it if you can help me out with something. Oh, um, sure, mate. Um, I won't mind. Oh, and also, I see that you're, uh, still wearing that dress. Of course. I am the princess of the soul dimension, after all. Okay. Well, anyway, flamethrowers, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way you guys will up to date whenever I post. And like I said, be sure to wish Sticks happy birthday in the comment section below. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog. Boom, Sonic. Boom, Amy. Sticks the Badger.
and and Marine the Raccoon. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers, and happy birthday, sticks. Thanks, flame. Oh, and sorry about the kiss. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine.